Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today we are face to face. Uh, actually, this is a little bit spontaneous. Uh, I just came home. My hair was done for another reason. So I said, why not do a craft room tour that I have been asked to do forever. We live in uh, London uh, in our flat. Uh, and uh, actually I use uh, one of the rooms as a library plus a craft room uh, because uh, maybe some of you know I have a big love for books as well and uh, both my husband and I collect a lot of books so this is the place kind of hobby place for us uh, and this is where I create my uh, projects and share them with you I won't go into too much detail but I quickly will take you through uh, my stash how I organize them how I keep them I am fairly simple uh, and uh, I don't have lots and lots of stuff, maybe uh, as much as you imagine, uh, but I will try to help uh, some organization and uh, share my little world with you. Uh, and uh, I will also show the library very quickly because I've been asked uh, about it as well. So without further ado, let's start. So first I wanted to give you an overall look of uh, the room. Uh, so I'm looking at the garden when I am crafting and that's my desk where I uh, record my videos and uh, do my art. I have my easel here as well because uh, I do uh, canvas paintings, uh, abstract or mixed media canvas paintings. And soon I'm going to set up a website and uh, uh, start selling my art when we come to my desk uh, apologies there is sun uh, but uh, I will do my best not to shake you so much and uh, try to get away from sun quickly uh, here is uh, where I keep my uh, uh, current projects so this is my Dilusions uh, journal that I'm working on I was doing a tag uh, so this is my work in progress area basically I have some bits and bobs there that are not important. My uh, spray bottles, my heat gun. And um, this is where I keep some water for brushes. And this is uh, my setting to shoot. I have this little tool that uh, I attach to the light and uh, my camera goes here. I use a GoPro because uh, that's what we had um, and I didn't get any complaints so I'm still using it this is my little beat <laughs> I'm Turkish so this is evil eye uh, for us uh, any house in Turkey would have one this is uh, my light setting I have two uh, I bought these from Ikea and I have some uh, strong daylight uh, to give light from both sides I prefer to shoot in daylight uh, but if it's night I use them and next to the desk there is a, a drawer unit that goes to the floor from Ikea and I just tidied up a little bit today but generally I am a tidy person because I can't create in mess so these are some brushes big brushes and the rest of my brushes my scissors for easy reach at the back there are my gel pens white gel pen which is very useful this is alcohol um, this is my label maker machine these are Faber Castell uh, brush pens gesso uh, matte medium another gesso my black uh, archival ink versamark ink and for white splashes I use Ecoline ink very easy for gold splashes I use Liquitex ink and my favorite modeling paste from Liquitex it's light modeling paste so these are for easy reach I keep on top of it when we came to the drawer I'll show you quickly what I have inside uh, here are again uh, easy reach uh, things uh, for me papers uh, scrap papers my uh, color uh, swatches for all the materi materials and paints that I use so it's the bits and bobs uh, one this one uh, here there are some plastic bottles uh, for uh, watering down acrylics and use it like that 
wax paper I use wax paper as uh, uh, to put paint uh, and then throw it away some jars empty jars if I want to put acrylic paints uh, and some acrylic paints here uh, I have my fluorescent acrylics only so that's this third one is my Posca pens these are acrylic pens I have some colors and these are my distress uh, inks these are oxides in uh, big format and I have my uh, other normal inks in uh, minis always so I have these uh, storage units and I keep them like this in the other drawer again uh, ink drawer these are my acrylic inks uh, and other brands these are permanent inks uh, and I have the distress inks in uh, big format here I don't have all the colors in big I was buying them big but then I realized smalls are the same and uh, cheaper so I continue to collect all the collection uh, in minis and they are so cute in this one I have uh, my gelatos I have only a few distress crayons uh, I really like my gelatos and I collected them before I have Faber Castell pit brush markers in uh, big format here but I have uh, them here in this beautiful box all the colors in uh, thin ones like this I will show you there is one here that is thin it's very difficult to hold the camera talk and do something else <laughs> first time I am doing this so these are the things uh, they do the same thing but if you want to stamp the bigger ones are better um, I have some oil paints uh, oil pastels here what else some string probably I didn't have any other place some uh, mica flakes from Prima and other brands are here the back so that's this drawer and I organize them in color uh, groups as you see sorry to make things easier this is my uh, acrylic uh, paints uh, mainly distress paints and there are a few other brands so these are uh, distress um, and I again try to group them blues greens so it's easier to find these are my fluid acrylics from golden I don't have all the colors but I have this box and these are also fluid acrylics from Molejo I only have three colors I was just trying and then at the back here I have glitters like this so <laughs> they are at the very back I don't use glitter a lot so I push them at the back and then here we have more paint so you will see in my craft room there will be a lot of paint um, this is a paper artsy uh, fresco finish paints and I also have uh, some deco art americana I don't have all the colors of both I think I have paper artsy more because they are a UK based company and it's easier to reach and I have some stamp area here which I used clearly oh these are the stamp area mixed media paints these are all mixed media paints so they are fluid and in this drawer we have the dilutions I have most colors I don't have all colors I stopped uh, collecting them at some point um, I have my watercolors here so I have Prima, Jane Davenport, uh, Koi, and some tools, uh, some watercolor brushes I have my alcohol inks here I don't have a lot of alcohol inks but some colors the blending solution from Tim Holtz and other alcohol to use with them so these are the and this drawer is an important one texture drawer so I have uh, art stones pastes crackle paste all sorts of uh, paste heavy gesso 
black gesso so it's gesso plus uh, paints um, pastes and stuff so anything related to texture and I have another plastic drawer unit here that I bought from Amazon it's uh, quite cheap and uh, low quality but it holds the things so when I go close to it top floor I put uh, this uh, storage unit uh, and inside I have my papers these are scrapbook papers that I use so and uh, there are 12 by 12 ones, uh, small ones here, so all the pads and stuff. And uh, here I have my 12 by 12 uh, chipboards uh, from Dusty Attic, and uh, also a couple of stencils that are big, so basically big that it doesn't fit anywhere. And I have my rulers. There is a T ruler and this ruler. And uh, if we go to the drawer this is the drawer where I uh, keep my uh, glues uh, anything glue uh, a stapler little uh, some tapes uh, all the glue basically and in the second one other tools uh, like these elastic bands um, my uh, stamping tools little mitzi um, masking tape embossing powder glue gun all these uh, tools then this is where i keep some acrylic paints uh, these are heavy body that don't have any place anywhere else oops and this has the wheels so it's easy to move and these are the tools that i use to apply paint and um, like texture tools brayer this to scrape sponges i have lots of sponges to apply paint basically um sea sponge all these things to give texture as i said i do big paintings as well that's why i have a lot of things when we come back to the desk, uh, at the bottom of the desk I have my printer, uh, my uh, silhouette portrait uh, cutting machine, digital cutter, and I have some Arteza paints there. I also keep my paper cut cutting uh, tool there and uh, papers that I use for printers. So I use that space uh, for these machines. I have my die cut machine in, in the wardrobe. A girl has to use all spaces. So on the side of my desk uh, there is this uh, little space as well. And here uh, I put the things that I need the most. Uh, if we go into this there are uh, embossing pow powder uh, tool. This thing, my uh, spatulas, uh, cutter all these tools that I use the most and I reach often then I have uh, another uh, uh, trimmer from Tim Holtz um, nothing else some little canvases and glazing medium there between this drawer and the uh, table there are big papers that I use again in paintings this is a mixed media paper pad this which is really big and other uh, card stocks and I have the same unit on the left side here I have my sequins uh, in this thing I have some plastic uh, plates and <laughs> glasses that I use for painting not partying so I use it as a color palette sometimes and in the glasses I mix paint with water and uh, for some usage um, here my sponges for inks and some tools for pen pastels and also I have this unit to put these little finger sponges at the bottom I have my uh, uh, punches corner punch circle punch my Martha Stewart punches uh, and stuff I will switch uh, from the sun uh, 
and uh, when it goes we can go to the other side again as I said uh, I have my easel here to do my paintings and I have a lot of paints here as you see uh, I use these uh, to paint uh, generally on a canvas um, so I have uh, I will show you how I uh, organize them this unit was an old TV unit and uh, I didn't throw it I brought it here to put these um, I put my paints in jars uh, so that it's easier to use and if they are in jars uh, I don't waste uh, I put them back from the palette and I use uh, um, I put the brand and the color um, and these are generally the paints I use for uh, paintings not for my mixed media projects I have a big uh, uh, jar of gesso here and I love this gesso it's Minzera Newton and it covers a lot and it's not so uh, it's not expensive for the amount you get and I have some texture paste here and I have this flexible texture paste uh, flexible modeling paste because when you uh, give texture to the paintings on canvas they shouldn't break uh, so I use flexible modeling paste and I have a like three sprays just uh, to give uh, some interest and those are gold black and white and here I have my uh, stamps um, I organize my stamps in boxes I get asked uh, a lot and these are all the stamps that I have so I have four boxes of stamps uh, I will show you uh, how I put them uh, opening one of the boxes and as you see I have labels here for example this is animals and stamp area this is miscellaneous flowers travel whimsy and houses and below there is backgrounds and on the side there is people with their alphabet and code and I have a little uh, file like this I will open it and show it to you so I stamped all my stamps on uh, normal papers and I labeled them this is just uh, painful ones and then you are very really comfortable um, so these are background stamps and I number them one two three and I give the same numbers to the stamps it's hard to hold the camera and uh, go through the uh, file because it wants to close um, so I know what my stamps look like and sometimes to go through what I want I just uh, go through this file and see the images and decide what to use so it makes my life so much easier um, so this is how I organize my stamps uh, it has pages and pages but really instead of taking the boxes opening all of them seeing what I have I just flick through this file and when I get a new stamp I just stamp it here and it becomes a part of the collection and here is how it looks when I open them this is Stamperia and Animals so stamp all my Stamperia uh, stamps are here because I work with them so I don't want to separate them and I keep everything uh, in original uh, packaging so that I know what it is and uh, with my label maker I give them numbers so that I know so this is A6 which means animal 6 and that's how I show it in my file and these are little cute cats and this is the same when I first started uh, doing mixed media maybe I was not uh, doing this organization and I threw some of the <laughs> packaging uh, so the, the ones from uh, the past don't have but I switched to this uh, system and uh, a part of my library uh, a little part I use for my uh, storage so when I open this uh, door some tools oil Tim Holtz papers uh, bits and bobs uh, these are this is my uh, uh, punch uh, this unit I use for metal uh, uh, things basically accessories um, this is for uh, beads um, and little beads micro beads and glass beads and all those stuff it's full it's not opening 
and this is for wooden tools so I know where my tools are little bits and bobs so I can uh, give interest to the pages this is where my journals and surfaces are basically some art journals some scrapbook albums that I can use um, these are some coloring books which I like uh, Dilusions journal uh, my uh, napkin journal mini journal all those things uh, and some papers and tags then these two are where I keep my stencils again I get asked a lot so I'll take it out and show you I'll show it on the floor because uh, I don't want it to be too bright so this is a normal file pocket display book that I buy from the stationery store uh, it has these uh, transparent files already inside so they are permanent um, like there are ones with 100 files 60 files and I put my stencils inside like this so it's very simple I don't remove the original packaging I just put them inside there's no order or anything because it's very easy to fly through and see them so there we go there are times I was not I was removing the original packaging uh, then I realized it's not such a good idea uh, so I keep them in their packaging now so it's very easy when, and when it finishes I put two in each file uh, back and forth and uh, when it finishes uh, I, I bought another one and uh, I continue I'm not buying so much uh, anyway now so it's perfectly fine I have two of them one is full this one is full and the other is not even full and down here in, again in the library unit these are my napkins in this box and this one is down the sprays in a box all my sprays and all my flowers on top of the sprays here next to this uh, painting uh, unit I have some uh, canvases in this box small or big and finally I have this unit as well uh, from Amazon uh, it's uh, definitely low quality but it carries a lot so uh, also it's not uh, expensive it works for me uh, I have my uh, napkin journal here this uh, notebook I use for color swatching uh, I color swatched all my acrylic paints here so I reach out and look at the colors uh, because sometimes the packaging is a different is not a true reflective of the color here I have all my glitters this is not a sturdy unit so I'll be careful um, all my glitters and uh, crystal drops Nuvo and uh, stickles I have a lot of them I love them uh, sort of addicted uh, and I use them a lot um, these are my little acrylic paints. I put them in a drawer. My Arteza and uh, Liquitex ones. Um, and uh, sometimes I use, uh, I put Arteza in my jars as well. That's how I use them. And I have the big patches too. So this is the worst, the ribbon drawer. I guess for everybody, ribbons are the biggest problem. Um, I, <laughs> that's how it is I organized it several times and each time it got uh, disorganized as I use them so I lost hope these are my uh, little jewels jewel dots that I use uh, and some other bits and bobs like this All the I love these uh, Kaiser craft ones that are very sparkly I'll show you another color I love them and here I have some stickers I bought some of them from local stores some uh, online uh, like this uh, I use them quite a lot as well here I have my embossing uh, world and waxes 
these are all embossing powders um, and these are waxes prima or other brands here I have my prima art alchemy paints which are uh, shiny so they are metallic paints here you can see metallic gold it's all of them here in this one I have eye inks some uh, various acrylic paints and my silk glaze um, these are acrylic paints with shimmer and they are like semi-transparent so that's why we call them glaze down we have uh, my pen pastels I put them in uh, color groups one after another yellows and greens uh, all that stuff and here I have my infusions and brushes uh, basically powder pigments this part of the drawer is broken but it's holding up so I'm fine and finally uh, these two walls that are next to the uh, desk are library units uh, and it's f packed full of books uh, I don't have space anymore and I put the books at the front uh, I wish I had enough space so from ceiling to floor uh, they are all library units we use units with glass doors because I don't want them to get dust and we have valuable books my husband is a collector of uh, old uh, books so these are my books from up to down and this is only one wall here all so I open one door and these are uh, beautiful classics that I collect just to look at one shelf and uh, if we look at the left side of the table again these are all books from ceiling to the floor and in front of them i have my easel and stuff yeah so that's all uh, i hope you enjoyed uh, today's video which was different and uh, i'm glad we had uh, we said hi face to face uh, and if you have any questions uh, or comments uh, please don't hesitate don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, or like leave a comment for us to chat uh, i really like talking to you uh, if you like my videos that's the only way i can know and uh, thanks so much for watching and see you next time bye